Hey guys, Tina here with Amaryllis Acres Homestead. I just wanted to come on today and chat with you and say hey. I know I've been kind of MIA and there's really no excuses, just life here on the farm and life homeschooling and everything else that comes along with life, right, um, has kept me away. Um, but I know it's been a couple weeks and I did want to come on today just to visit and say hi and also give you guys some news about Miss Gracie. Um, most of you know Gracie is our dairy cow and we bred her, well, we attempted to breed her with our bull Luke in January and we were waiting to see if she took and if she was in fact pregnant. So I just had Dr. John come out um, last week and pregnancy check Gracie. It's been about 30 days, a little over 30 days and um, unfortunately she's not pregnant so I was really surprised um, you guys know we posted um, the video of Luke and Grace uh, you know mounting successfully and and we were sure that she was pregnant I didn't even see any signs of heat in February so I thought for sure that Grace was pregnant um, Dr. John did say uh, that it's not uncommon when it's a bull's first time breeding to need a little bit more practice. So <laughs> even though while you know Luke was getting up there and we thought he was doing everything he was supposed to do, um, for whatever reason, it, it just wasn't the right time. So he said, Lukey needs more practice. So yay, Luke. He's going to get some more, some more time with Gracie this month. So, um, you know, I'm kind of bummed just because we were so excited. This was our first year being able to use uh, Luke as our as our breeder. Last year we used artificial insemination with the vet to get Gracie pregnant, and um, you know we've raised Luke for over a year now and put out a lot of money and time taking care of him, and, and you know we got him for the convenience of having our own bull here on the farm. So we were really excited um, about this first breeding season, but uh, we'll. We'll give Luke, you know, a couple more months, maybe a month or two, and hopefully he'll be successful next time. Um, she'll go into heat again probably the second or third week of this month. She's She's been doing her heat cycle the third week of every month. So probably, you know, around the 20th of March, somewhere around there, she should be going into heat again. So that whole week, we will probably just put Luke and Grace together like we did last time. Uh, to make sure that we don't miss it. So I'm excited. We'll see. Maybe this time will be good. And then we'll have Dr. John come out in April and pregnancy check Grace again and uh, see if they were successful. So, you know, it's, it's okay. We're not in a hurry. Um, it's just, you know, with dairy cows, in order for them to keep producing milk, they've got to continue to calf every year. So I know that Gracie will eventually get pregnant. Um, even if for whatever reason Luke is not successful again um, and again and again if we have you know two probably another two or three months of this where he's not successful with her I will probably go ahead and call Dr. John out to artificially inseminate her because we still have bull semen from last year that um, is kept at the vet and kept frozen and everything so we can use that if we need to um, but I do want to give Lukey the chance to, to practice and try to do his thing because that's what we got him for. Um, and I was hoping to have a fall calf. I think, you know, I was talking to you guys before about Gracie's, um, sorry, I'm moving the phone around. I'm actually doing something a little bit different today. I'm doing kind of a live, a live video recording versus like my, my good camera and editing and all that good stuff because I just wanted to come on really quick and chat with you guys. Um, but Gracie's always had a fall calf. In fact, she's calfed in October every year that we've had her. And we really like that because here in our our area of Virginia, it's not very cold. It's not it's not um it's not too hot. It's really the fall season is kind of perfect around here. So, it's been a great um a great time to have a calf here on the farm. So, now that Gracie's not pregnant and we have to wait until March for her to get pregnant, hopefully, um, if they're successful, that, you know, we're looking at having a, a, a winter calf now um, because the cows are pregnant for nine months, just like we are. And so we are going to have a winter calf this year. So there's nothing wrong with having a winter calf, you know, um, calves out in the wild and, or I'm sorry, cows out in the wild and cows on other farms have calves in the wintertime all the time. 
and there's no issue with that. Um, it, it does increase some risk, you know, with the colder temperatures, having that warm calf out in the cold weather like that. If Gracie doesn't get the calf cleaned off and dried up quick enough, you know, there, there could be more issues with calving in the winter time than, you know, in the summer or the spring or the fall. So, um, but that doesn't mean that it can't happen and it doesn't mean that we're gonna have issues. Gracie is a very good mama. Um, as you guys know, she's she's amazing. She's She calves on her own every time. We don't even have to do anything. And she's just, her instincts kick in and she's good to go. So I'm really not worried about it. Um, I'm Selfishly, I think of my schedule and I'm like, ugh, because that means, you know, I'm out more in the winter time now with this, this winter calf. And so the fall calf has just been really convenient for us. But, um, you know, to a certain extent, we can we can try to plan these things but we're we're dealing with nature so these are cows for goodness sake um we can try to plan things the way that we want them and set everything up to have it be the way that we want it to go but we're dealing with nature here so for whatever reason this wasn't the right time and it didn't work out in january for luke and grace so we'll try again this month in march and see if they're successful and we'll just kind of go from there um, but yeah, so I just want to let you guys know, I've had quite a few people actually ask me, uh, about Gracie. Is she pregnant? What's going on with Grace? Was Luke, you know, did he, did he do good? <laughs> so Luke did good. Luke just doesn't know what he's doing, obviously. So we're going to, um, get them back together and, and see what we can do about that. But anyway, for now we're, um, you know, still in full swing of the milking season. And, um, the other thing was, you know, by the time I wean off Sarah from Grace around eight months, it would have been perfect timing if she had gotten pregnant right now because I would have weaned off Sarah and then I would have been very close to going into the dry off period. You know, you dry off the cow um, two to three months before they calf again. So I would have had Sarah's help with milking all the way up until I dry Gracie off for her next calf. And um, now I won't have that. I'll have a little bit of a gap when um, I wean off Sarah, I'll have probably, you know, two or three months or so that I'm gonna have to milk Grace all by myself, which means no breaks, right? Um, right now I'm getting, I'm getting a break um, quite often, really whenever I need it. If I don't wanna milk or we don't need milk, I just leave Sarah in with her and Sarah takes care of the udder, um, all four teats, and it, it works out great. So it's a huge help. You know, a dairy cow can be quite the responsibility you know you don't have the choice of not milking you've got to milk her every day rain or shine um, unless you calf share unless you've got a calf and then the calf can help you out when you don't want to milk so this has been our first year that we've had a successful um, calf share with our calf and let me tell you guys it has just been like it's night and day it is night and day from our previous uh, milking season so it's just made my life a lot easier so um but that's okay those last few months that i milk and grace by myself before we dry her off maybe i'll get some more cream <laughs> with the uh calf on her all the time gracie's saving all that cream for the calf so i haven't really been able to make fresh butter this year and i'm really missing that because we normally get a ton a huge cream line from gracie um, when i milk and right now i'm getting like a quarter inch of a cream line because sarah's getting all that cream so yeah um the end of the milking season, I'll be taking all that cream and making butter and freezing it for winter and all those um, times that we need it here with cooking. So, but anyways, all right, I've got another video coming up that I've been working on. Um, we just hatched a bunch of chicks and I'm really with the incubator. Um, Joe's getting quite savvy with that. So I'm excited. I've been working on that and I'm going to get that put together and post that for you guys. And um, I'm also working on a video. We're building our greenhouse and I'm really excited about that. And Joe's also working on his butcher freezer. So we have quite a few different projects going on all at once around the farm. And I'm doing uh, videos, how to videos for all of them. So I'm excited to get those posted for you guys. If there's anything that you would like for me to talk about, um, please comment below and let me know if it, you know, could be cooking recipes, it could be farming, you know, dealing with the animals, um, pigs, sheep, cows, chickens, you know, we've kind of got a little bit of everything. So if there's anything in particular that you would like for me to talk about or post about, I would love to hear from you. So 
All right, guys. Well, I will talk to you later, and I will keep you posted on Grace and Luke next month, and fingers crossed they are successful this time. All right. Have a great day. We'll chat later.